What's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two Eye Cinema. I'm your host, Sharim. Here on Two Eye Cinema, you know I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. In today's episode, I will be doing a one through one review of Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 2. Now let's get into it. On that note, don't forget to check out our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow Too High Cinema and KLB Supply on Twitter and Instagram at Too High Cinema at Too High Club and KLB Supply. Now let's get back into it. Then Jaren visits Peli Motto on Tatooine during the Bunta E Festival in search of a new memory chip for IG-11. She does not have one, but instead sells him R5-D4. Jaren, Rogu, and R5 fly to Mandalore, and Jaren orders R5 to scout ahead and ensure that the atmosphere is non-toxic. When R5 does not return, Jaren ventures after it and is attacked by several Alamites, a native troll-like species living in the caves. Heading deeper into the mines, Jaren is captured by a cyborg creature and sends Grogu for bo help. Katan rescues Jaren and kills the cyborg before leading Jaren to the living waters. Jaren begins to recite the creed to restore himself as a Mandalorian. However, a sudden drop off causes him to sink deep into the water. Katan dives in to save him and on the way back up comes face to face with a mythosaur. Blood. I know I keep saying this, but damn. The graphics and the cinematography on this show is freaking top notch, yo. It's amazing. We get Mandalore, which even after a planetary apocalypse, still looks like something to behold. Like, it looks beautiful. Like, we get to see some, like, real development with Grogu and uh, the status of the level of his ability to take care of himself. Uh, like that. <laughs> oh, that crab looking robot that's, yo, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, when it first captured then, and of course, Okatan is a badass as usual. <laughs> That's who needs a, their own show. That's who needs a show. Okatan. Is it just me, but everything Din Djarin does, Okatan does better? <laughs> Yo, she whipped the crab robot ass in both uh, its base form and final form, as well as sent a few of the Alamites to the depths. She's a champ. She made every fight look seamless. <laughs> Yo, that whole sequence of Okatan saving Din was superb. Yo, we get callbacks to Rebels with Bo-Katan talking about her relationship with like other Jedis. Uh, that was dope. Uh, didn't like how they ended the episode though, uh, because it kind of made me, or oh, left me wanting more. Um, I guess that's better than, I guess me wanting more is better than me not getting anything. So, eh, great episode. So now I'm ready. So now for comedy, we're gonna be dank, drama, dank, action, dank, horror, dank. Thank you again, cinema lovers, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and place the notification bell on all if you want to see more content from us. Comment below to suggest any content. Follow us at KLB Supply, at Too High Cinema, and at Too High Club on all social media platforms for updates. And for now, smoke you later.